Welcome to this Markets.com company profile of Pfizer, Inc. I am your host, Luisana Soigart, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Founded in 1849 by Charles Pfizer and Charles Erhardt, the company's headquarters are located in New York City. With approximately 86,000 employees worldwide, Pfizer has a market capitalization of more than $133 billion. Now, Pfizer is a major pharmaceutical company with worldwide operations. It is divided into three divisions, human health, animal health, and corporate groups. The company's CEO is Jeffrey Kindler, with Frank D'Amelia as the CFO. Moving on to the markets, Pfizer is officially traded at nine national exchanges, with its main listing on the New York Stock Exchange. The major indexes it is listed on are the Dow 30 and S&P 500 in the U.S. Let's explore the company's reported financials for 2007. Reported revenues for Pfizer came in over $48 billion, with net earnings over $8 billion. As we look at the balance sheet, total assets were over $115 billion, while liabilities were over $50 billion. Equities made up the difference at $65 billion. The debt-to-equity ratio of the firm was sitting at 0.253. At the end of 2007, the company had more than 6.5 billion shares outstanding. On December 31st of 07, the stock closed at $22.73. Then, on August 12th of 08, stock closed at $19.72. Pfizer paid out just under $8 million in dividends to its shareholders in 2007. Let's go back to operations. Pfizer is the top-selling pharmaceutical company in the world. It has the top-selling drug in the world, Lipitor. Like any other big pharma company, Pfizer spends a lot of money on R&D and hopes to recoup it with the finding of a blockbuster drug. Now, Pfizer has lost patent protection on four of its big drugs in the last two years, those being Zoloft, Norvast, Serta, and Campostar. It won't be until 2011 when they lose another drug, but that drug will be Lipitor, which accounts for 20 to 25% of their sales. Currently, they are in the development stages with 100 other drugs, and other drugs made by Pfizer are Xanax, Celebrex, Chancix, Viagra, and Lyrica. As far as growth, it's going to be a challenge for Pfizer, which at the moment seems consent with trying to maintain as much of their sales as possible. Unfortunately, they are going to lose a lot of their sales by 2013 due to patent expirations. Those sales can only be replaced by new drugs. Now, there does not seem to be enough in Pfizer's pipeline to replace those sales. So many an analyst have suggested a purchase of another company with a pipeline such as a biotech firm. Other growth possibilities come from combining in-house drugs to extend patents, as well as better marketing to keep people from buying the generics. Because the company chooses to gobble up smaller companies, they have no major acquisitions. Unfortunately, Pfizer's forecast is summed up in their inability to replace what they are going to lose. The company has a lot of money and a great balance sheet. Their dividend is great, but the question remains, what will become of that 10 years from now, and what will become their replacement? That concludes our Markets.com company profile of Pfizer Incorporated. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Luisana Suegart. We hope to see you again soon.